Hello everyone, welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 plus interview questions related to quality assurance and quality control. So let's quickly get started. What is the difference between quality assurance and quality control? This is the topic where many of you get confused so you can use a shortcut to remember this QAP and QCD meaning quality assurance will always be relative to preventive measures meanwhile quality control will be relative to detective measures meaning QA is a process oriented that is defect prevention while QC is product oriented that is defect identification what is the role of a QA or QC engineer in mechanical engineering a QA or QC engineer ensures manufacturing processes meet quality standards follow inspection procedures and verifies compliance with specifications and codes. What are quality standards commonly used or followed in mechanical industries? So there are different standards that is ISO, ASME, ASTM, API and DIN. So ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization, ASME stands for American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASTM stands for American Society for Testing and Materials while APU stands for Auxiliary Power Unit and DIN stands for Deutsches Institute for Normung that is German Institute for Standardization. You will be familiar with them as you go further and study more about the materials and codes of quality. What is an inspection test plan? The figure of the test plan has been attached and it is a document detailing inspection points, responsible personals and testing methods used exactly. What is a material or mill test certificate MTC? This is a very important certificate that an industry has to provide if a certain test has been done. So this certificate provides proof that materials meet required standards specifying composition and properties. If you see this mill test certificate includes all the dimensions that is it shows all the dimensions used that is four dimensions. It shows the heat number that is one. It shows six chemical analysis that have been performed on that material. Then along with that it is going to show you the mechanical tests or all the properties of that test underwent and it will also show you the specifications. Alright, then it has different signatures. So all the people who have worked on the same have to have their signature on this document. What are different types of mechanical testings? Tensile testing, hardness, impact, fatigue and creep testing and you can see the figures of each for tensile testing, mechanical, then impact, fatigue, creep testing all the figures that show each type of testing used. What is the difference between destructive and non-destructive testing? So I'm pretty sure many of you might have already heard about destructive testing that cars undergo before their launch. So destructive testing basically damages the sample, example tensile impact, compressive impact and so on, while non-destructive testing preserves the component, example ultrasonic or radiographic tests. What are common NDT methods? Ultrasonic testing, radiographic testing, magnetic particle testing, dye penetrant testing and eddy current testing are the common NDT testings used. So all the figures, all the figures that is ultrasonic may it be radiographic, magnetic, eddy current, all these figures are actually going to help you a lot in understanding the difference between each of the tests. So make sure you take a closer look. What is PMI, positive material identification? And this is the most in asked question in interviews. A method to verify material composition using X-ray fluorescence that is XRF or optical emission spectrometry OES. Alright guys. Why is impact testing conducted and what is the Charpy test? Impact testing checks material toughness like I told you about cars as well. 
the charpy test measures observed energy during the impact so basically when a car is going to hit a sudden wall or maybe hit a brick wall the charpy test is also used to measure the energy absorbed during this impact what is the purpose of a pneumatic test to check for leaks in pressurized systems using air nitrogen or other gases pneumatic tests are mostly performed in the industries that are related to pressure leaks or may be related to gases what are the different welding defects porosity undercut lack of fusion cracks slag inclusion and spatter and this small even this small effects can create a very big impact and can cause a big failure in of the entire system how do you inspect welding quality using visual inspection dye penetrant testing pt magnetic particle testing mt radiographic testing rt and ultrasonic testing ut what is preheating and why is it necessary in welding this question is again asked when you are applying for a certain job of shop floor maybe or a specified job in quality control preheating reduces thermal stress and prevents cracking in welded joints especially in thick or alloyed materials what is calibration and why is it important calibration ensures measuring instruments provide accurate readings by comparing them with a reference standard and i'm sure if when you undergo practicals in your universities you might have undergone a lot of calibration to get that precision and then further do that practical because calibration will help you with precision always what is uncertainty in measurement it quantifies the possible deviation of a measurement from the true value so that is what uncertainty is actually so you can see here the reading is 20 and the uncertainty is actually making a reading here on the red lines right what is the least count of a vernier caliper and micrometer the least count of a vernier caliper is 0.02 mm while that of micrometer is 0.01 mm and i'm sure many of you guys are confused or maybe interchange the least counts and now there are digital vernier calipers and micrometers as well but uh, there was a time when you actually had to take readings through these calipers itself and you had to measure everything so remember these are the least counts and again a very important question and a tricky question what is cmm coordinate measuring machine a device that measures physical geometrical characteristics of objects with high precision is called as cmm and it measures each and every coordinate it is so 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 accurate that you will uh, be able to even measure coordinates of a particle as thin as your hair what is gdnt geometric dimensioning and tolerancing a symbolic language used in engineering drawings to define allowable variations so basically wherever you are using gdnt you will be able to see all these symbols that are shown in the charts each symbol have their own description and each symbols are divided based on their tolerance type so these are again five tolerance types like form profile orientation location and run out what is iso 9001 and why is it important a quality management system standard ensuring consistent quality and continuous improvement so whenever you buy a product you might see it there is iso certified written on it on the back hand side where there is also a barcode for the same so that is what it means that it is um a system of quality management standard which ensures consistency in that particular quality what is a non conformance report or non conformance report 
a report issued when a product or process does not meet the required specifications so you can see the non conformance report has all these details as mentioned in the figure and it is just used when your product cannot meet the required specifications what is six sigma and how does it relate to qa or qc a quality improvement methodology focused on reducing defects and improving process efficiency also all these points are the basic structure of six sigma that is control improve analyze measure define so these are the main pillars of six sigma and six sigma is something that one must know when coming to the field of quality assurance or quality control what is root cause analysis a method to identify underlying causes of defects or failures so basically root cause analysis will help you identify the problem from the root of that particular product and then you can recommend and implement solutions for the further use what is the pdca that is plan do check act cycle a four step process for continuous quality improvement so the first step is plan then do check and act so this is the cycle which is used for continuous improvement by a lot of multinational companies or manufacturing industries what is corrective action and preventive action capa so basically ca stands for corrective action while pa stands for preventive action which is a system for identifying correcting and preventing defects what is fmea that is failure modes and effective analysis so basically it is a risk management and assessment tool to identify potential failure modes and their impact so failure what is the potential of the failure then mode then what are the types of this modes ways or the possibilities how it might occur effect that is negative effect on the process under studies then analysis that is to study risks and reduce it and furthermore what are asme codes relevant to qa or qc asme section 8 pressure vessels asme b31.3 piping while asme section 9 that is for welding how do you handle customer complaints about quality so investigate perform rca implement corrective actions and communicate resolutions what are 5s principles in qa and qc again a very important question it is nothing but sort set and order shine standardize sustain for workplace organization so the details of what exactly sort means set means sign means standardize means are given here so you might have a check on them and read them carefully what is traceability in qa or qc it is nothing but the ability to track a product's history location and application so for example if you want to see the testing traceability so you can see the tracks of test execution results or you can identify tested and untested parts that is what your traceability stands for what is the difference between cp and cpk cp means process captability while cpk accounts for process centering so you can see the remarks that are given in process capability analysis that the process is capable whether the process is being continued or not and so on and so forth so this was it for today's videos guys thank you so much for watching and you can join 30 plus engineering courses with a lifetime access by joining gauge how right now so make sure you share this with your friends and don't forget to like comment and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so 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 much for watching again bye bye